to my first tutorial of a bunch of tutorials on how to make your own website using HTML, CSS, all of that. So here we're going to start with basic HTML coding. So let's get started. We're going to start off an HTML document with a tag. These are called tags in between these arrows. Um, we're going to start it off with an HTML tag, which is signifying that we are starting an HTML page. So here you say uh, that I saved it as my first web page.html. So now that we're starting that, we're going to say that we want to start the we want to start the body of our page. So we're going to type in body in a tag. Next, we're going to create our first header by creating h1, which signifies header one setting, which is default in HTML. So we'll go ahead and, and say my first heading. Now to end something, we have to add slash and then the original tag. That signifies that you're ending the tag, that you want nothing else that's right there in that heading. Next, we'll start a paragraph by typing P in a tag and write my first um, my first paragraph. And then we'll do the same thing. Next, we're going to end the body. I'm going to and the HTML. So when we save this, we will get my first heading, my first paragraph. Now let's say we want to center the heading. We're going to add simply center in a tag, and then after it, we're going to simply add slash center. This will just center that middle thing. So now we have my first heading. So maybe we want to separate the heading from the rest of the project. So we're going to go ahead and put in hr space slash as a tag. Now what this does is it will add a horizontal heading, a horizontal bar to my heading, kind of separating it from the rest. So it kind of looks um, somewhat like websites do. Next we have my first paragraph. We can also separate paragraphs like this. So if we wanted to do paragraph hello and then end the paragraph. And then in between, we could add a hr save. And there we have it again. For this, I'm going to leave it as that. Now maybe for this second paragraph, we're going to put in a link. So maybe we want our link to be um, to Google. So we're going to go ahead and start a tag here. And let's give myself some more space here. We're going to go ahead and type in, in a tag, a space. Actually, I'll just click this. A H R E F equals, then in quotations, you want to put your URL. Including the HTTP. So there we have our link. And then here we end our tag. And then here you can put the text that you want to appear for the link. So Google. Next we end the entire thing with a slash A. So now when we save this and head over to this, notice we have a link to Google and we can click it and it links us right to Google. So that's pretty straightforward and simple. Also, we can do bold tags if we want to make something bold. Oops, I'm going to put this in the paragraph just for organizational purposes. Okay, so now when we go back here, my first paragraph is now bold. So you do that to either the whole paragraph or just a section of the paragraph to make something stand out. So now we're going to add something to the body. To change the color of the body, you're going to go into the body section, anywhere in it, and you want to type in here, you want to type in a tag body bg color, just like that, and then here I have a little thing that I could choose the colors. There's, you can use HTML numbers, which you can look up, which is that, or some words work, such as blue. So if we type in blue, we're going to have a blue page. Now, if you wanted to use a number color, 
then you could use a whole bunch of different things. So we could type number here and I'll have my, oops. So we'll have my selector. So maybe I want, I look up that I like 003399 and save it. And notice that the page will then change color to a darker blue. So that is the basics of HTML. Also we have our break tag, which is BR. You save it and notice that we're gonna get a break here, another line break in between Google and my first paragraph. So those are the simple HTML tags, guys. So you can use those to start messing around. I'll have my next tutorial up within the next week. So start mastering these. You wanna memorize these too because memorization is key to HTML. So thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching, check out my other tutorials, and the next tutorial will be linked in the sidebar, so you continue the series. Thanks for watching guys.